Father, it is my privilege and it is my duty to give honor and present to some and introduce to others. Pastor, hallelujah, Jesus, West Paul. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, let praises rise, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, they said this was the Ignite the Fire conference, and one thing we know about fire is that it cannot be contained, hallelujah, somebody better let go in this place of tonight, Jesus. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then it goes on to say that uh, she came up behind him and she touched him. I'm just paraphrasing that she touched the hem of his garment and immediately she became whole. But see, what I need you all to look at on tonight, I don't need you all to look at that in the physical. I need you all to look at that in the spiritual. See, sometimes we're looking at the woman with the issue of blood like it was an actual blood disorder. But see, some of us are facing situations where we have doubt and unbelief that we have been suffering for for 12 long years. Some of us have a sickness in our mind that we have been suffering for for 12 long years. Hallelujah. This thing is just not the physical, but it's the spiritual aspect of her suffering. My God. It is her suffering. But what did she do? She ignited her faith. She ignited her faith. It didn't no longer matter to her to keep this thing concealed because she didn't want nobody looking at her no type of way. Do you understand that when we're sick, we don't want nobody to know because they won't want to feel like no martyr. We don't want people side-eyeing us. We don't want nobody talking and snickering and giggling behind our backs. So when we're going through and we're burning down, we keep it to ourselves. But what I love, she ignited her faith. And it didn't matter who was out there. It didn't matter who saw her. She pushed her way through the crowd. See, I don't know about y'all, but I need this. I need this. So when he come through here, I got to reach out. I got to touch it. But see, it wasn't a physical touch. It was a spiritual touch. So my question to you, who really crying out for him in your prayers? Who really seeking him? Who really laying prostrate on the floor, calling on his name? Who really pulling on him saying, Jesus, I no longer can do this. I need you. I don't get to ever lead up. Oh, 
Egypt. They couldn't see in the spirit. They couldn't see in the spirit. They missed it. See, one thing about true men and women of God, we can see you in the spirit. I don't need to see that something is wrong with you in the physical. I'm going to come at that thing in the spiritual. I know you text me. I know because my virtue has gone out of me. But see, if you're in the position that you need to be in, if the apostles were in the position that they needed to be in, they would have recognized the lady too. My God. They would have saw too. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ignite your faith. Ignite your faith. See, that's something that I like that word, ignite. Ignite me to start up. <laughs> Once you start up, you have a tendency to where you can't stop. My God. See, somebody tonight needs to ignite their faith. Because see, once you get on the road to believe in God for who he is and what he said and believe in the promises of God, come on here, you won't be able to stop. That they will be uncontrollable like fire. That thing will be uncontrollable yeah. like fire. Yeah. You wonder how they say, I got faith to move mountains. I know the song say, uh, uh, what it is? If you don't give me the, the faith to move, give me the strength to climb it. Nah, my faith going to move this. Because I'm igniting my faith on tonight. I believe in God for some things. I believe in God just like it says for some things seen and unseen. That's what I believe in God for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ignite your faith. Start that fire. Spark that fire. Hallelujah. 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 48 says, daughter, he said to her, your faith has made you whole. What was the ending of that? Go in peace. Go in peace. Peace like no other. Peace that surpasses all understanding. It's a peace that's uncompared to. It's a peace unlike no other. I'm talking about it, so it could be so many different things going on around you. But when you have the peace of God, people go to looking at you out. I remember a time you could have said such and such, shut the hood. But now she said, God bless you. And mean it. And mean it. Because it's the peace. Because see, people don't know that you just suffered for 12 long years. They don't know you just suffered for 12 long years. It was overdue. That peace was overdue. That joy was overdue. That understanding was overdue. The wisdom of God was overdue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That freedom was overdue. It was overdue. Do you understand that even in your sickness, you can be bound? You cannot even understand why people walk around smiling because you automatically have an attitude. Why are you always so happy? Why are you always smiling? What is that to be happy about? Because you know why? Because I finally understand what it is to be kept by God. I finally understand what it is to put on the hem of his garment. I finally understand what it means to be wrapped up by him. I finally understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I dare somebody to shift their mind on tonight and say, I'm igniting my faith. I'm igniting my faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. I will no longer suffer. I will no longer sit here in sickness and be bound. I will no longer be heartbroken over the things of the past. I will no longer sit here and watch my family stay stuck in poverty. I will no longer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm igniting my faith because you know that everything attached to you wins. So once you spark it, come on here. Somebody better catch that thing in the spirit. Y'all ain't got to catch it. I'll catch it for myself. Because once that thing spark, it's going to take off. You got to understand that California and them wildfires, all it takes is a spark. All it takes is a spark. 
See, that's what I need y'all to understand. I'm a Jesus lover. Yes. I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna walk in it. I'm gonna talk in it. I'm gonna bathe in it. I'm gonna stand in it. All it takes is one spark. One spark. But guess what? No about that spark. That spark got to be authentic. That spark got to be real. It, 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 it can't be no man-made fire. You understand what I'm saying? That fire cannot be man-made. I see, I don't need nobody to be able to put this thing out. You ain't gonna throw no water on me and expect for me to just die, die. Oh, no, 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 no. Not here. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Water might flow from me, but you won't throw water on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Don't be embarrassed. See, that's something that I, I got out of the letter with the issue. Because she came up behind him. See, to me, that was an embarrassment. That there was a fear. That that was something that was keeping her from from fully going forth and meeting God and His Jesus in His face. I just want to come up behind him. I just want to touch him. I just want to get a, just a little bit. If I can get just a little bit, because I'm no longer gonna sit here and suffer in silence. I'm no longer gonna sit here and allow people to look at me as if I'm I'm just lame and and, and uh, unwanted and unloved and unworthy. I'm no longer doing that. How many of us wrestle with that on a daily basis? When we look in the mirror, we look and say, "Oh Jesus, I don't feel good today. I just want to lay here and say nothing. I don't want nobody to call me today. I don't want to deal with nobody." I don't want nobody calling me from my job. I just want to go to my job, do my job, and go home. I don't want to talk to Stephanie and Keisha. No, no, on the day, I want to do what I need to do and go home. But something about that lady, she knew that there was a root to her sickness. How many of us walk around sick and don't know that there's a root to it? Some of us dealing with Jezebel's. Some of us dealing with the spirit of offense. Some of us dealing with some jealousy. Some of us dealing with some envy. Some of us dealing with some hatred. We walk around suffering. Suffering. Straight bleeding in the spirit. Straight bleeding in the spirit. You get one word, put a band-aid over it, and you gone. Oh, that was a good word, Pastor. But did you receive it? Did you receive it? Did you did you really take in what God was saying? Because see, one thing I know about healing, it starts from the inside. That's why they give you antibiotics. Can we go down? Can we go down? Antibiotics work from the inside. That lets you know there's a deeper root to what's showing on the outside. You want to walk around here with scrapes, bumps, and bruises. Looks like a little infection over here. Looks like a little infection over there. Can't nobody touch it because it's contagious. So you go get seen about it. Well, I'm going to prescribe you this. These antibiotics. And that should cure it. But see, even antibiotics got instructions. Even antibiotics got instructions. And see, that's what some of us don't like. We don't like instructions. We take them antibiotics by three days and it's over with. I feel good. I'm good. I feel real good. I don't need no no more. What we do? Put them in the refrigerator. One of our cousins called up with some. Girl, I got these antibiotics over here. No, those was for you.
think you know where going on, so you can tell them. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. You better get your healing for real. Let me tell y'all something. The light itself, the light itself is a healer. When you get what you need for real, you ain't got to prescribe nobody nothing. I can walk by you. In truth, I can walk by you. You'll see it on me. You understand what I'm saying? I can speak two words to you. Instantly. Because I'm walking in truth. God says to worship me in spirit and in too many of us walk around with lies. Our salvation is a lie. I don't think they want to hear it now. Our salvation is a lie. You don't came up to the pulpit about five, six, seven, eight times talking about you want to rededicate your life. Yes, that's good. But when is it going to take? What is it going to take? Ignite your faith. We all know we're going to fall. We know this. But if you deliberately keep doing the same thing every single time, then you want to boop, 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 pass up. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need to talk to you because, see, I'm tired of just being in this situation. And Pastor, we sitting by looking like I'm telling you, I mean, I left her in like, here she go again. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, Lord, I told her what you told me to tell her. But just like the antibiotics, you don't want to follow the instructions. Just like no antibiotics. You think you got a quick fix and now you heal. Now here you come beating down the pastor and apostle though again with the same situation, the same infection, the same thing. Where is your faith? Where is your faith? I don't know. I'm flowing with the Holy Spirit. I don't know who they for. Do you understand what our job is as leaders? To lead. That's it. Once we give you what you need, it's up to you to ignite your faith. Yes, it's real. It's up to you to walk it out with your head held high. Because, see, if you continually use us as a crutch, you ain't going to never. You ain't going to never know God for who he is. You ain't going to never look into who you really are. You ain't gonna never, never. My God, my God, ignite your faith. Ignite your faith. Where is it? Where is it? We holler about it, but where is it? Are we more lip service than actually action? Let me tell you what don't happen to the spirit. We on unemployment. We on unemployment. Don't nobody want to work no more. All these people out here hiring. We hiring over here in the kingdom too. We got bonuses. We got sign on bonuses. Come on. PPP don't got But the laborers are few. Ignite your faith. Ignite your faith. Where you at? When you leave out of the church building, where is your faith? Are you really being that light? Or 
are you tune your nose up at somebody when they pass you by? Can we talk about it for real? I don't cut nothing. I don't put no chase on it. I'm going to tell you about me on tonight. I don't sugarcoat nothing. Y'all know how we do. Let me tell you, most of the messages don't deal with people in the streets. Who they deal with? People in the church. We the topic of everything. We the topic of everything. Because you know what? We straddle too much. My God, my God, my God. Too many of us one foot in and one foot out. We only want to praise God when it's beneficial to us. Come on, come on. Oh, I messed up that money last week in my light bill. Dude, let me go to church and pray, Dad. Let me go see if I can serve Pastor them. My God. Oh, yeah. Don't nobody want to hear that, Pastor. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. But see, let me tell you something about God. He gives us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And understanding. Yeah, your gift will make room for you. Yeah. But what about the wisdom and the knowledge that's attached to it? Right. We forgetting what it really means to be kingdom minded. Oh, yeah. glory, God. Come on, talk about it. We're forgetting. We play the part. We can dress up. We can look good. My God. We can praise him. Yeah. We can sing. We can really put on a show. My God. But when lights go out. Come on. That fire gone too. Come on. Ignite your fire. Because see, fire can be seen in darkness as well, right? Right there. It's time to ignite your fire. Ignite your faith. Begin to let that thing bubble up in you and swell to where it runs over. Don't you, what the words say? I will pour you a cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'll run over, right? Yeah. But don't you know there's work required? Yes, yes. yes it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's the aspect that we forget. Yeah. Yes, it is. God spoke the words to us, but there are things on our end yeah. right. that must be done. Yeah. Right. There is work required. Line yourselves up. Line yourselves up. Amen. Ignite your faith. Ignite your faith. Amen. Ignite your fire. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that nobody's fire is put out. Maybe it's just on them. Maybe you needed this tonight to add a little more fuel to brighten it up. Hallelujah, Jesus. You ain't got to lick at nobody. You ain't got to nudge nobody because you know what you deal with on a daily basis. You know what you go to bed with at night. You know what you wake up with in the morning. If you know that you really suffering, pull on it. The woman couldn't do it no more. 12 long years. She had let too much time pass her by. How many of you don't let too much time pass you by? Some of y'all supposed to be preaching. Some of y'all supposed to be out there evangelizing. Some of y'all supposed to be prophesying. Some of y'all supposed to be interceding. But because you've been suffering in silence for 12 long years, you're not where you're supposed to be. But I declare by the Holy Ghost on tonight that that fire has and that fuel has been added to that dimness. Now that fire is brighter than ever. And you will go out for real. You will go out for real and be examples of your father. True disciples. You will not only look the part, but you will talk the part. A lot of us look good, but time we open our mouth. Oh my God. That came out of that. Oh my God. Come on, come on, come on. My God. Ignite the fire. 
Ignite your faith. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for your word on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you for igniting our faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you for igniting us on tonight, oh God, where we will not stand. Hallelujah, Jesus. We will no longer be in dark places. We will no longer just talk about it, but we will look the part. We will walk about it. When you see us, you will automatically know you ain't got to wonder or guess. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're going to know about the fruit that we bear because of our characteristics. It will be exemplified. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. From now on, we are authentic. We won't be duplicates of anything. Hallelujah. I'm not going to bounce what you got off of me and make it look like so. I'm going to get what God got for me and then what belongs to me. And that's what some of us need to do. Hallelujah. We've been walking with some people for so long that we're beginning to look and talk and act just like them. And we no longer know who we are. Be the authentically true, unapologetically you. Hallelujah. I don't care who knows. I'm going to talk about Jesus day and night. Sometimes you'll catch me with a hat on, with a t-shirt, with some jeans, and some tennis shoes. But that does not never take away the anointing that God has placed on my life. Because I'm me. I'm me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing a little this and I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. You are here moving in the midst. We worship you. We worship you. You are here Turning things around. Yes, Lord God. We worship you. We worship you. Hey, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Sing. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, living in the midst. We worship you. We worship you. Yes, Lord God. You are here, mending broken hearts. We worship you. Yes. We worship you. Say, say, we make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Glory, you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Come on, bring it from your babies. Yes, Lord. My God, my God. Sing it again, sing it again. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 
Jesus. And he made a way out of no way.
can all stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, grateful and eternal Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, oh God, hallelujah. We thank you for your hand of protection, oh God, from danger seen and unseen, known and unknown. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, Lord, we ask and pray that you stir up every gift, hallelujah, Jesus, every person in this building, oh God. Lord, we ask and pray that you continue to ignite every fire, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, and we ask and pray, oh God, that as they auction their uh, auction in their bellies, oh God, to pull off the hem of your garment, oh God, that you make them whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask and pray for safety on tonight, oh God, as we leave this building in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you for the shelf that was made on tonight, oh God. We want to thank you for the restoration, oh God. We want to thank you for new sight, oh God. We want to thank you for new hearing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you for a new mind, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you because after tonight, we won't look like yesterday. We're going to walk different, oh God. We're going to talk different, oh God. A devil in hell won't be able to stand us in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we bless your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, oh God. Let your peace fall upon your people on tonight. You know what they deal with. You know what they battle with. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know the dysfunctions that won't allow them to function. I don't know, shake it up, oh, say, yeah. mm, my God. Hallelujah. I speak healing to your people on tonight. Healing in the mind. Healing in the body. Healing in their faith. Healing in their salvation. Healing in their repentance. Sweep through this place, oh God. Rakase. Roko wadia seke remoro shaya. Touch every foot. Remoro siya na ya moko saya. So they'll never walk in the same areas again. Remoro siya na ya moko saya. Break every chain. Remoro siya na ya moko saya. What they once was bound. I am moko saya. Ria na ya moko saya. Ha. Loko seke remoro shaya. Liberty and freedom is your portion on tonight. Hallelujah. Receive it. Receive it. Receive your portion. Receive your healing. Receive your destiny. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your future. destiny killers in the name of Jesus. Some of y'all have been walking alongside destiny killers. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. See, now that your fire has been ignited, we come against every, every spirit of theft. Be able to look at you the same. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God. Reboro siya na yamoko siya. Roko wa sete reboro siya na yamoko siya. Deliverance is happening right now. Asoko wa yada reboro siya. Deliverance is happening right now. Rasheke reboko siya na yamoko siya. Woo. Rasheke ni asete. Deliverance is happening right now. Rosha yada. Pray to him in your heavenly language. Roko ayana morosaya. Reke sete le morosia na ya morosaya. Feel this place. Reke sete le morosia ke le morosaya. Reke morosia na ya morosaya. Ria sete le morosaya. Whatever you need, reke sete. Roko ayana morosaya. Somebody has been laboring for their family. Somebody has been laboring. Let the wind of God 